Howdy folks, Justin here. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna hop onto the ladder here with the Red Brahmin Rides Again Scout deck. Rank one legend, so nowhere to go but down. We are due for a loss, it's been a few days. So let's see what we can deliver. Enjoying a cup of coconut coffee straight from Costco. Playing against the Supreme Matromancer. This is Mage deck. I'm guessing Mage Control. This guy might give me the loss I'm looking for. Not a bad opening hand. Um, you know, what a good opening hand looks like against this deck is questionable, right? Unlike a lot of matches where you kind of want to play the Control deck. In this one, curving out is probably best. Fireball in that is not terrible, but I don't have a play this turn. Pass the turn. Maybe I'll have a well-played emote for me. Although generally, I have to be admit, I've found the uh, community for this game so far to be very positive, which has been really refreshing. Okay, so he's got a handful of answers. I still have no play. And I think this actually, unlike most games that go long, which I think benefit me, no play, I think this benefits him, because even if he's playing uh, Action Mage, you know, a handful of cheap spells and a hex mage is really all it's going to take to beat me. Now, I have two Shadowfin Priests, so what I'm going to do... How greedy is this? <laughs> I mean, alternatively, right, I Tree Minder... Murkwater Witch, maybe, and uh, hope to ride Nahog Leave to the end of the game. Put the two... Put them both in the same in the same lane, so I can play around Immolating Blast. I mean, I I don't even know what to do at this point. This should be interesting. Uh but you know what I kind of like is this. Going face. I mean, lightning bolting this not terrible. Cunning ally. Give him an answer to this next turn. Or I could get two firebolts at it right now. Okay. Still not a lot of great options. I think I just tree minder, crushing blow, swing. Expect a firebolt on that, uh, unless he wants to waste an ice storm. <clears throat> so, any Arcanist. That suggests that it's actually Action Mage and not. Control. I'm gonna just not hug leave. I've got a fistful of leaf lurkers and also a murkwater witch to uh, handle that guy. What do we got here? It's important to remember when the only creature you have on your hand or on your board is uh, not hug leave or iron nature knock, and you trigger prophecy and they don't play it. You should. Uh, <laughs> Expect that they will be casting a piercing javelin. Am I just the aggressor? He might ice storm. So we are not playing around immolating blast right now. Is that the plan? I think we try. I think we try. This is also better against uh, Dawn's Wrath, I think is the name of the card. I was calling it <laughs> All Sun's Dawn, I think, earlier, which is a magic card from about 10, 15 years ago. It seems like a good silence target. I'm obviously 100% all in. Um, Ice Storm still wrecks me really hard. I didn't see the Shrieking Harpy coming. You know, I gotta say, it's not really clear to me what is happening. If he doesn't attack in with that, I just, I Murkwater Witch Leaf Lurker it down. Or even Charis Reaper Leaf Lurker down. 
Yeah, that's the play. Well, this looks like it's about to be a blowout. <laughs> like one of the biggest blowouts I've seen in quite a while. I am very shocked. I am sorry, man. Like I like what you're doing here. I like the slaughterfish variety of this deck, but that that was a really one-sided game. Okay, let's check out the rewards we got here. Looks like we completed a quest, or maybe it's bugged. It's not really clear. I'm still rank one legend. Didn't push through to zero yet. Okay, quest reward, gold reward, and a stalwart ally. I love this card. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I am sorry I didn't deliver the loss, but. Rest assured, it's coming. Have a good one.